Welcome back to Railbound, I'm Dear Darling, and enjoy the ride as we make connections and travel the world together in this also quite a last minute episode of Railbound, sort of. <laughs> Recording this the night before, like past midnight or something, because it's, um, I don't have any episodes in the backlog. Um, okay, yes, I, I remember we were doing this level, um, 49B. I don't remember what progress we made with this, to be perfectly honest. But, okay, the, the thing was, number one has to enter this tunnel before number two does. Yes, I do remember that. Um, about how does number one enter that tunnel? That's a good question. We only want to hit this button once. So only one of them should probably hit it. I, I remember we were doing, like, a lot of finessing with this sort of thing. And it wasn't working. And I feel like I... I don't know if I made this up, but I feel like I came to a conclusion that we can't send them on the same track right at the beginning, right? Because I feel like I was trying to do some separation thing with this, and I just couldn't get it to work. I also feel like I had I was very close to a solution, but it just didn't work because of the timing. Now, I don't remember what any of those solutions are. But now I'm looking at this again with fresh eyes. I'm like, maybe whatever I was doing before, maybe I'm overcomplicating things. So, like, what I mean is like, I should start again with, like, fresh eyes and fall into the same traps it's setting me up for again. Um, and then we'll see where we go from there. Because I will say immediately, like the first thing I thought of when I saw this level, <laughs> I was going to say for the first time, it's not for the first time, for the, the second first time, I guess, um, is the fact that one should go here and two should go here. I don't know how useful it is. I mean, I mean, one can hit the button like this, but then it comes out this way. Um, and ideally, I suppose, what we'd like to happen... Because when this is toggled, nothing can get to the end. So I wonder if we can use that to our advantage. How, how quickly do you get to a button? So we... Does that... That does prevent you actually from getting to the end. So then I guess you could hit the button now. But then we need... Does that work out timing-wise? It doesn't quite work out timing-wise. For one to get to the end. I don't know how two will get to the end either. So ideally we'd like to switch it again? Oh, there's no way this is... Maybe. So you hit... No, hold on. No, we, we want number two to not hit the button yet. That, that, that's not what I, I was doing the wrong thing. We want yes. Okay, so now one gets to the... Oh, and then two... Two doesn't have enough track to reach the end now. Wait, does two have it? Wait. No, because two can... I need one more track. I mean, I think the most obvious thing is this should be where I get this one more track from. Like, I, I can't imagine that's a solution. But then I don't know how to delay two enough so that two hits the button later. We can't delay two here because two is here by the time the purple button's pressed in the first place. So, the, the only way we can delay two is here. So two can actually get to the end. Actually, this seems like it's very close to a solution. I just had to delay two by a second more. Or I delay one by a second more. Oh, wait, I'm so dumb. I don't need to do that at all. I can just send one up this way, right? What? <laughs> oh my god. I, I, okay, I got way too tunnel vision there. I got way too tunnel vision on the idea of trying to get two to hit the button again when the simplest solution is just send one round on a different route. <laughs> okay, well I'm glad with fresh eyes that we were able to tackle that one. I don't know how I got stuck on it for so long. I, I think I probably tried to overcomplicate it by being like, there's no way we want one to go through that tunnel. But the important thing to remember, sometimes you've got to let yourself fall into that trap, you know, and just see what happens. Is 
This can't be right. Um... I don't know. Oh wait, oh no, that doesn't work. I was gonna send you back up that way, but that doesn't work. It feels like there must be a way to get you to go around each other. Wait, I guess you could just turn around here, right? That would send number one to the end. And it's reasonably efficient. I don't know how we delayed two though enough. I guess it's not that efficient. It can never be that. I mean, this feels reasonable. No, that can't be a way because then number one can't get to the end. We need to delay two by like two more, but we don't have enough track for that. I wonder if I'm ever complicating it again. Hold on, let's have a look at 5-3. It might give us useful hints. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't really, to be honest, but... Okay. So this is just more like a subversion of our level, where instead of sending one directly to the end and getting two to follow afterwards, we need to send two on a roundabout journey. So the idea, I think, is that two should go on a roundabout journey backwards through the track and then they should dodge each other on the way so i'm not convinced that it should be like this i'm convinced that it should probably be like one of these things that one gets to the end like this yeah i think this oh i think this should work because one will just go like that Oh, two needs to. It's not going to work, because how do we get two back? Oh, wait. Mm. No, because they go down the same way there. Um. It's kind of like we want two to go down a different way to one. I think this might work. Okay, this is how it works. Um, that was actually quite a key observation there. To realise that we can't have one looping back round again. We, we kind of need one and two to come at each other and dodge each other. Oh, weird. Okay, well, let's let's do the naive solution. One straight to the end. Two, I imagine, has to go this way. So three has to turn off at some point. Maybe like this? That's not enough track. They, they don't even dodge each other like that. That's crazy. can't figure out what this needs to look like for free to dodge two. Um, it needs to be like this, but this is going to take up so much track as a problem. Three, we need to send on a journey. Mm, but the journey has to be quite an interesting one. Because it needs to arrive after two. It needs to not only go on a, not only needs to dodge two, because presumably if we go out this way, we don't have enough track to not make two go in this way. Three has to dodge two, and not only that, go on back, but it needs to be sent on a journey 
to delay them coming back here. Presumably two goes to the end like this. Presumably one goes to the end like this. In three tracks? That seems not doable. Unless we can be more efficient with how we do ones. And the answer to that I think is no. <laughs> um, wow. Okay, so the problem with this one is we, it doesn't feel like we have enough track to work with. Okay, okay so basically what I is, I don't think we don't have a lot of track. That's a fact. Um, so I think two has to basically go in over here. The alternative is two goes on some track over there, but that by itself leaves us only four tracks to work with, which does not seem like enough because that's not even enough to get one in. Um, so it would have to be something strange like this. But the, so if two goes in here, it means it has to dodge three. But the problem is, it's not quite enough time. So two has to go on a detour. I guess three could turn off like this. But that's not enough track for one to get to the end now. And two can't even get to the end. Um, so, this idea was that three would have to be sent on a journey after two because it needs to delay time so it doesn't crash into two when it comes two comes to pick up their passenger. But looking at this, I don't think there's enough track for it to make that work. And plus, having two delay itself get, getting over here doesn't feel right. So I'm wondering... Like, this doesn't feel right, does it? I mean, that works, but... One, that takes up way too much track. I mean, does it have to be this way around? I guess it doesn't have to be this way around. But how do we get one in? Oh, uh, okay, so one could go just, like, directly to the end here. This feels inefficient. One, two, four tracks just so that. I guess three could go here. Does that work? Is that that is just enough of a delay? Okay, so it is, it is actually the solution. That's interesting. I'm surprised they didn't take away two of our tracks and also not have like. I'm surprised they didn't take away two tracks. No, one track, and then remove this. So you'd be more led to do that exactly instead of this thing, which feels a bit inefficient for a solution, but. What do I know? The fact we did it at all is good. Right, hold on. I let, let, let's have a look at 5, 4 and 5, 4, A and B. Sorry, A. So this is just introducing the mechanic, I suppose. Still. Still, still a tutorial level. Interesting, that early on. And this one... It's a similar sort of concept. This one, I think, is when I first got the idea of one does a track, when two does its own track, then joins onto one. Like, getting two to follow in in series. Interesting, we start with a pre-placed track here. That is interesting. Um, it makes me think that two needs to turn away. Presumably it's something like this. Then two goes back round. I don't think... Yeah, a freeze is going to collide like that. I think two, two takes too long like this. But two can't join up here because that's where a freeze is going. So two kind of has to go backwards. I guess we could... Can't join quite like that. Can't really join like this. This just sends it to the end, doesn't it? Mm. I guess we could have two like this, and then three could go like 
But again, that's not... We need for you to take longer. It somehow needs to delay itself. Ugh, we need one more track with this solution. Which I don't think we have because I don't think we can put you here. No, because you crash. So you have to turn off by this point. I would love for you to go along here and have one more track for free to join in here. That, that, even that's quite close, to be honest. We need to make this more efficient. I can't imagine free joins in anywhere up here because that just sends free to the end really quickly. But there's not an easier way to get one and two to cross each other. Like, if we get one to turn off earlier, that just makes it like an invisible barrier, which we had to overcome to get one over here while two's over here. This feels the most efficient way to do it, but maybe it's not. Because, like, if we do this, that's not going to work. Because now we've blocked off the only way for one to get over here to the end. So two would have to turn off here, which means one would have to turn off here. But then it's like, how do we get one and two past each other? And the answer is you don't really. So if, I feel like this must be correct. I wonder if that's enough delay. It's not enough delay, but... I put three in front. Hmm... It'd be nice if we could go here without crashing into two, actually. I guess it could just delay itself, right? And presumably, that's enough of a delay. Two delaying itself over here is enough for three to not crash into it and to avoid it. Okay. That doesn't feel quite, quite right because we had a weird delay, like, in it. But, oh my god, how do we get one from here to here? This must have a crazy solution. <laughs> I feel like it must start with something like this. I don't know how is one... Well, I, I guess one could get to the end like this if it turns around here. Problem is that's going to send two to the end. So two will need to like turn off here or something. No, it doesn't make any sense. Um, I've genuinely got no idea. Uh, I've only got a minute left, so we might as well stick with this one. Uh, I don't even know what conceptually that should happen. Because one getting from all the way over here to here to here is going to use up so much track already. Like, even at a minimum. I guess we could make it more efficient like this and have number two just perish somewhere. That alone gives us ten, but that's so slow for number one. I cannot imagine we can delay nearly enough time for two using this method. I think probably what ha needs to happen is two needs to follow one. So two probably does something like this. I don't know if this is enough time between them. It's just enough time. Oh, that actually gets into the end. That's interesting. And three just needs to delay in 
absurd amount of time. I bet oh, maybe three also follows them. And it's about figuring out where to put a track so that they can dodge each other. Oh, but remember they're all going to take this track. felt like I fluked in to be honest, to be honest. Um, well, I, I got the general concepts of what we had to do, have them dodge each other, and then it was uh, the idea of getting them more to follow each other from series and just finding out where to put the, this sort of track to get them to dodge each other. This is clearly not the intended solution, but with three leftover tracks. Um, well, that's pretty good. We've So we made good progress. We finished off World 4. We've only got a few more in World, world 5. In fact, one more in World 5. 6 is done. seven has got a bit more. Eight's got a bit more. Nine's got two. Ten's got quite a bit. So we only have like three or four levels, I think, for each world going forward. If we can go at a pace of like one each episode, that's not too bad, to be honest. But for now, I'm going to wrap this episode off here. If you haven't been watching, thank you very much. It's been real bound. I've been Day Darling. Likes, comments, subscription, shares, greatly appreciated. Socials, Discord down below. Hope to see each other again. But for now, it's our farewells. Until next time, bye-bye for now.